I'm at Bridge FC TV here with the gaffer Jamie Milligan after today's hard fought, grafted 1 0 win here at Lancaster City. Gaffer, firstly, your overall thoughts on the game? I thought we were brilliant, especially first half. Listen, they're, they're a tough team to play against. They're, they're a decent team, them, and they've, they've turned over some some big clubs in our league so it's some fair play to the way they play is there's two ways of winning a game you can play football which we try and do or you can play like they're doing which is nothing wrong with it so there's more than one way to win a game of football and it works for them so every credit but overall I thought we were the better team and deserved the win yeah, It was a feisty fiery local that everything you expect really in a derby and to not just win the game but to keep a clean sheet as well that must please you Yeah definitely it's, that's, it's, it's, it's massive we've defended brilliantly these last six games we've defended brilliantly Um from the keeper, back four, midfield, everyone just defends and it, with Isaac up there pressing from the front as well, it just sets everybody off and he's just so much energy. Yeah, it's a game we needed to win today in order to take it to the final day in our playoff race. All about the final day now. You must be really happy to go into the final day knowing that a win could help us uh, getting those playoffs. Yeah, I'm buzzing for the lads because they deserve it. They've been absolutely, they've given me everything this year, everything this season and I've demanded a lot of them, they know that, but they've stepped up and Apart from a little blip in the season, which, to be fair, expected, yeah, we've come out of it, we've unbeaten in six. I thought the, the lads were absolutely brilliant. And top of the form, guy. Now, six, seven weeks ago, we were right in the bottom, and six, seven games, we've put up some unbelievable performances. The Hyde win, we're scoring goals freely, we're conceding less. Uh, Nantwich in the last final game, you must be really happy with it with the team. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad we're at home that last game, and I think we maybe need results to go for us. I'm not too sure. I need, I need to look at it. But I, I, I just want the boys to experience a playoff game. Do you know what I mean? I've been there in the playoffs and it's it's great to experience. So, and we're a young team, we're, we're young lads who, who they run about, they've got so much energy and, and, and quality as well. I just want them to experience it. And another goal for Isaac Sinclair, a lad who you've worked with a long time. You must be really happy with his contribution, not just scoring the goal, but he grafts his, he grafts his arse off from minute one to, yeah. to 90, doesn't he? So he does, he runs, he's got energy, he's got quality, he's, he's got everything. I, 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 I'll be shocked if he doesn't get a move to a league club soon. I'll be shocked because I've seen lads that, that play league football and, and he should be there. And also I've noticed that um, Macker and Pondy have, have created that great partnership in the centre of defence. How, how pleased have you been with, with those two in particular? They've been brilliant. The first half today, them two, were the, no disrespect, they had the cigars out. They did. They didn't cause us one problem by the free kick that, that hit the post. and. Pondy's rolling back the air, stepping out with it, and but yeah, both of them, the top lads and top players. And the fans came out in force as you expect, expecting a local game, uh, getting behind this team. Have they done all season long? Yeah, they have. They've, they've, they've had some tough away trips. We've been, I think we might have maybe more if on a Tuesday night we've been to, and we've had some tough away trips, and they're always there and they always come. Um, and their fans as well, they, they had a good turnout today. So yeah, overall it was a great result for us. We just need to, to go and win on Saturday now. Yeah, we've had some great results, I know. As the season's gone on, we've, we've played good but not quite got those results, but we're doing both now. We're putting in the performances, scoring freely and, uh, and getting those all yeah, important we went, points. When we went through that little bit of a, a blip where we didn't win in like seven, eight, nine games, can't remember what it was, we didn't change anything. We, we, we kept playing how we play. We just needed to step up our work rate, I think, and that's what it was. And, and the last six, six games, they've, they've worked the socks off training and in games that they're a, we're a tough team to play against. Yeah, after going through that blip, if, you, if you're a player in that moment, not getting the results, down a bit, just how important was it to lift those spirits again? It, it took a few wins for it to for it to get better, didn't it? Yeah, definitely. Like I say, we're a young team and young lads when things don't go for them, it's it's tough to get out of. It, it is. So I didn't rant and rave. I didn't dig anyone out. Just kept going because because I, I believe in them. I believe in that squad. Um, and I, I knew we'd get out of it. I knew we'd have it, but I knew we'd get out of it.